Let's play families. Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's play families. It's episode five and Chrissy has gone into labor. She's not prematurely carrying at this point. She's fully due and she's been brought in to, you know, assist her along in the arrival of this baby. <laughs> Jeffrey has not had a moment's wink in the last few days since Chris has been in hospital. He's been at the hospital, he's been at the house because there are renovations and we're going to see what those renovations are. It won't be long any minute now but here we are at the house and there's been a few changes if you look to the top left hand corner here there's now two windows it's the same on the other side and there's a protrusion so we've lost the balcony above the living room and Dennis's room when we walk into this once upon a time gym you will now have a clue that we're expecting a baby girl for the Williams household the colors are brilliant and Jeffrey's gone all out to make sure everything is in place it's a lovely cuddly on the floor and another in the cot here which is so beautiful to look at however you're not supposed to have cuddlies in a cot for a newborn <laughs> but for decorative purposes I don't mind the space is really lovely this is a changing station there's a night light and intercom system but most importantly the main renovation took place in the bathroom where we lost the balcony above Dennis's room we now have a bathtub and we have matching sinks <laughs> and I think it's lovely as a unit for folded towels we're going to need lots of towels for this child and the toilet unit is set far back in there I think that Jeffrey has done a wonderful job and our lovely Chrissy is going to come home with the child and be very pleased with what they see <laughs> now there is one more renovation that took place and obviously that's in the far corner for the master unit as well their bathroom was also just a shower unit and a sink and the toilet unit but now we have a bathtub in there as well just to keep the shape of the house symmetrical in some way and there's also a shower at the side here so that's good um two spaces to get cleaned up for the couple and the toilet units far back over there <laughs> now downstairs we also have uh, one of those feeding chairs let's just go down there uh, and i set that out in the living room area I obviously went for the color white just to maintain the same decorative touch to the interior. I think it's very immaculate, it's beautiful. I love the subtle colors in the cushion. I think it's fantastic. Its position is also really good for Chrissy when she sits here. Uh, she can face the TV, watch a film, still nursing the baby and the fireplace is right opposite her here. More toys will be littered around in no time. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Obviously, Dennis has to be in school. He can't miss school simply because his mum is having a baby that's not allowed. But he'll be home in time for the celebrations, not to worry about that. That being said, he is a little bit unsettled and doesn't seem to understand what's going on with his dad. He can't make out for sure what he heard, but it didn't sound good and it didn't feel good either. It's kept him in a very unsettled space. Manka, manku, ra. It's a girl! It's a girl! We are so happy and we already have a name picked out by the Williams household for her. It's not going to be Julie. That's a generic one that's just been generated by the game. They have chosen the name Ruby for their wonderful daughter who is 
basically a jewel in the family of some sort <laughs> let's give her a life orb she's going to be an animal fanatic so let's look for a platinum one right there she's going to get the very best yes she is <laughs> and let's see if we can change her outfit typically when you have a baby in hospital they just wrap the baby up and hand the baby to you or you could actually give them uh, an outfit that you picked out and they will get the baby dressed in that <laughs> so I think that they would have picked out one of these lovely looking ones here but this is a favorite of mine anyway so we'll go for that one because I think it's cute with a little white headband. I think it's gorgeous. And we are ready to add her to the town. There is one more thing to do and that's to pause her life so that she doesn't age. Of course we're going to have birthdays but I want to be able to control that myself and I just don't want her passing on or anything terrible. So assume that this is some sort of immunization against illness. <laughs> <laughs> while we're still in hospital we have to inject these into her so this would give her three days that's what a bronze life orb would do it will protect her for just three days before her aging starts we don't want that and if you try let's see i'm looking for silver yeah if we try a silver one it would pause her life for only seven days and that's no use we need some sort of orb that would give her infinity. Gold gives you 16 days, still no good. And so typically what I do is I give them a platinum one. Uh, if you just click on anyone here, you'd see it pauses a life permanently. But we don't want uh, a geek. We want the animal fanatic platinum life orb to pause her life or pause the aging process so we're happy with that i can't wait to see how she interacts with little pets welcome to the sim world ruby Yes, the Williams household are having a party because of the little arrival and it's time for them to settle down to some food. I do believe they've worked up an appetite so I'm going to sit them accordingly because it's important where they're sat. Um, and I want my little Dennis to sit right by his sister and grandma can sit in this seat. I'll introduce you to everyone once I get Grandpa James to stand up and share grace before they have their dinner. So Grandpa James is Jeffrey's dad and Grandma Susan is Chrissy's mum. So that's the family that we have here today. And they're just going to say a little prayer thanking God for the safe arrival of little baby here and that mother and child got home in one piece. So in a few minutes after they continue to hmm hmm waiting for when this detailed sharing of the grace is over they can begin to tuck into the lovely meal that's been prepared and I like to add that it was prepared by Chrissy's mom Susan over here and this is Jeffrey's dad his name is James and they're having a wonderful time I am so thankful for this table it's a Thanksgiving table as well <laughs> but the thing is you can't cook in AR, so this table is a lifesaver and I can't play families without family dinners. 
Time for you to get up, Missy. You need to give our little Ruby here a quick feed because she is yelling out. Let's get her over to this seat. And I am so happy. It's the first time I've gotten these seats and um, you get to feed your baby on it because I was spending tokens on dresses instead. So here we go. The only thing is a huge disappointment is 24 seconds. Sims free play, why? <laughs> 24 seconds is not realistic in feeding a baby and the bottle doesn't go into the baby's mouth oh my goodness i don't know how to deal with this but you know what i'm sure chrissy will make it work and in any case let's just celebrate the arrival of the baby <laughs> There is an old saying that what a child can't see while standing up uh, can be seen by an adult who's sitting down. In other words, Grandpa James can see through the giggles and the laughs uh, and realize that his son is carrying a heavy heart. I'd say he has too many secrets. It's time for Grandpa to have a chat with his grown-up son. How are you, my son? You seem preoccupied raising a family and having a newborn arrive it's uh, quite an experience Jeffrey I raised you to be a God-fearing man when last did you read the Bible you should learn to depend on him for guidance during complicated times Jeffrey you have a wonderful family I'd hate to see you lose it all Thank you, Father. I appreciate the advice. Yay! It's play bath time. I was looking forward to this moment. As you know, you can only give your baby a good wash uh, in a bathtub. You can't do that in a shower. So the renovation of this house was necessary. I think that Jeffrey did an amazing job. Only a balcony piece needed to come off and the house still looks exactly the same. Even improved, if I might say. Well, we're done here and it's time to stick the baby in some PJs. Um, this only says it's for the changing of a diaper, but of course you can set your baby down here to make sure the kid is stable and then put them into something more befitting for bedtime. So I'm just assuming that she's applying some beautiful creams and not really changing a smelly diaper, okay? <laughs> and then once she's nicely powdered in something scented, uh, we'll have her in a PJ and stuffed into her lovely cot. <laughs> I absolutely love this. You know, for those of you who go on about AR in um, Androids, it's just a feature in the phone for iOS that allows this happen. It's not something that Sims Freeplay created per se. Anyway, this is what our baby looks like in this lovely PJ. Now she needs to get into this cot, which I think is beautiful. I love the toys in there oh my god oh my god <laughs> it's lovely right there are a few things that we can do with a kid inside of a cot make sure you're selected let's play with a rattle now this rattle is available in the baby store in the town you have to go to the town map click on the store and you would see this for sale uh, i think for maybe social points or life points i'm not certain but that's where you can find this rattle and i think it's just beautiful well i think the baby has settled in quite nicely and i wish the williams household a wonderful time with this new bundle of joy 